let's get started. Give me if I sound weird because like um I'm still a bit sick. So sorry if I like sleepy or stuff, you know. Airflow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing the long requested by long requested i mean like one person requested it um and long awaited bangkok haul <laughs> have i also procrastinated way too long to film this video i'm also making this video because i bought a ton of makeup and i really really want to open it and use it but like i need to film this video before i can open it and use it yeah okay so let's get into the video okay starting off i'm gonna tell you what i bought my makeup so mainly I watched this other YouTuber called like Brenda, like she's a Southern Singaporean. I'll link her video down below. Um, it's like this Bangkok haul she also did. So I love the stuff I bought. Actually, I made a list of stuff to buy based on her recommendations. But I also like bought a few more stuff that weren't in her recommendations. And I also like tried out a few stuff. I'll swatch it for you guys. Up. The first store, like the main store I went to is like Even Boy. Basically, it's like the, the Thai Sephora. So like, um, they have a lot of like house brands and stuff. Except like the biggest thing is like their stuff is like so much cheaper like i mean they still have like international high-end stuff which is honestly either more expensive in singapore around the same price but they also have like thai brands which is mainly the stuff i bought or the stuff you basically can't find in singapore and they're all like quite affordable like under 10 sing i made two different stops to even boy one in siam paragon if i'm not wrong or siam the siam area la. and the other one i made in where was the other place i went the other place I went was Terminal 21, which, um, honestly, I felt like the ranges at different locations were a bit different. I felt the one in Siam, although it was bigger, but it mainly focused on a lot of, like, lip products and blush. But then the one in Terminal 21 had a bigger range of, like, um, more products, although it was smaller. As in, like, it had more variety, like, um, but also, like, I realised, like, they said a lot of stuff was on sale in Terminal 21, but honestly, like, because I went to Siam the day before, and it was the exact same price for the stuff I bought that they claimed was a sale price. So maybe it's like a tourist thing because Terminal 21 is like a touristy place. But yeah, anyway, um, I mean, it's the same price line. It's okay. Yeah. So I made two separate trips there and I made one trip to like um, a Mistine stand. It's like Mistine is like one of their house brands like, uh, in Thailand and it's like quite famous and stuff. So they had a stand in, what's the place called? Oh my gosh, I can't remember any of the places I went to. It's also the... Siam area, I wanna say, but I'm not sure. But yeah, okay, anyways, on my first trip to Eden Boy is when I went ham. So, I got a lot of lip and cheek products, as I said, because the first one in Siam was very like lip and cheek heavy. So, the first thing I got on my list was this blush, because I really wanted a blush. So, it's the, it's called a For You Too Heart um, Blush in the shade. I don't know if it's what to say. S8 Sassy Girl. Everything will be linked below. But yeah, um, this one, like, actually, there were so many people there. And, like, it was kind of scary because I had to, like, kind of budge through all the different girls. But actually, I found this one, like, quite small. Like, at first, I picked up two. So they have three ranges, which is the matte range, the shiny range, and the glossy range where it's supposed to be a three-in-one. So you can use for your lip, your cheek and your eyes but i didn't really like the texture i don't know if y'all are into like creamy stuff then i mean good for you at first i got a matte and the shimmer but then the shimmer one i mean it kind of appealed to me more and then because the matte one i found like other like dupes which i'll show you later which are like were way cheaper bigger and i felt like maybe this was a bit of a gimmick because i swatched it and they were all like honestly like the same so the lady said this was like one of their more like um popular shades yeah, and this one comes with SPF or so, maybe that's why it's... And, like, the packaging is quite cute. See, it's, like, in a little heart shape. I think it would be, like, a very nice gift and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, let me swatch it for you guys. So, inside, it kind of looks like this. Comes with a nice mirror. Okay. So, let me swatch it for you guys. Like, the lighting at Even Boy really sucks. So, like, if y'all want to, like, have a good picture, I had to, like, try to take pictures of it or, like, go online to search. And, like, because the lighting there is, like, very orange and, like, totally inaccurate like but anyway i they saw a lot of like very dark colors if you're into that kind of blush but because i'm just starting out with like using blush so i tried a more subtle color can you see the swatch just based on one swatch so it's quite nice and pigmented if you guys can see that's this if y'all want let me know if, in the comments if you want me to do like a put it on my face see how it looks kind of like look 
Maybe I'll do it my, when my tart brushes arrive. But yeah, so that's what I got from For You. The next one I got is the dupe that I was saying that I found like a matte dupe. So it's from this brand called Nikara, and then it's like the velvet one. Guys, there were so many pretty shades, right? But I told myself, okay, I'm not gonna realistically use so many blushes, so I limited myself to only buy one when I picked out like five. But like, yes, let me show you guys this. And I felt like it was number one cheaper. I'm gonna do so much bigger and honestly yeah, I didn't feel like the swatches were like that much different and stuff. I mean yeah, I don't really need a mirror, that tiny ass mirror and like a heart shaped like box, right? So like yeah. I mean if you guys have that kind of money and you rather like invest in that kind of packaging then okay. But like this is actually kinda of cute as so well. It comes in like a nice like matte packaging. I'm not sure if you guys can see properly, but yeah. So I got it in the shade number six. Sorry, I'm using an iPhone camera. I'm on a budget, so it doesn't focus that well, but okay. So yeah, this is kind of how it looks like. Anyway, I'll swatch it for you guys. This one's a matte blush. I guess it's slightly less pigmented, but when I tried it on the, in the store, honestly, like, I felt I liked the feeling on my skin and everything, and it was like kind of nice. And I also went for like a pinkish color. You can see it. This one is the one. This one was the shiny one. I can't really see on camera, but this one definitely has more like shimmer than the other one is more like subtle, like oh my light just fell. <laughs> yeah, anyway, this one has more sh the first one had more shimmer, then this one definitely is a bit more like matte. So depends what floats your boat. Let you guys know when I try both. But I mean I kinda like it so far, so that's why I got it. Okay, moving on from blushes, I bought lots of lip products. I mean, did I buy one, two? Three, four, and more in my other bag. Yes. So actually, most of these lip products were like recommended from Brenda's video. So I did try and like swatch them first and like try them. So they were having this stand of this like Korean like lipstick thing, and I at first I took one. I forgot what it's called, but it's some very small thing. And the people there were honestly so disinterested that I didn't even want to buy it. I went there, and then they just were sitting on the floor like at the counter and I was like oh hi and then they kind of just like looked at me so I was just like well clearly you're not interested so but anyway I found dupes for that as well and they were like I don't know half the price and way bigger than that small bottle so I tried to get a more variety of shades so the first one I got which was the dupe for that it's also from Nikara I'm not sure um why this brand is so much cheaper than the other brands but I really liked it so and I got it in shade number 2, clearly not focusing. And it's basically just a velvet lipstick and it's quite big so I like it. And the packaging is kind of nice too. It's like those like you know very nice to touch card casing. I don't know if it's just me lah but like I love to touch this card casing. But yeah, I mean let me know about this Nikara brand if y'all know anything about it. If it actually sucks or it's gonna give me cancer but... Can you see it? Oof! Okay, I'll also put it on and there you see, okay? So I really like that it's kind of subtle, so it's quite good for every day. And like, I really like how the like the lipstick has this like pointed end. I don't know, it's like extra pointy, I'm not sure if you can see. So like you really can get to those, you know, like spots downhill and stuff. And yeah, you can do it with like a more like, you know, this Korean like ombre look if you just put less and like that. And I really like how it feels on my lips. Like some lipsticks are like very like grimy, you know what I mean? Like it feels like something's dead and you just want to rub it off and like, you know what I mean? But yeah, okay, so that's what I got from Nikara. And then I got a couple of like um, lip tints as well. So I got this one from Too Shy. It's supposedly a lip tint and I got it in day one. This was like super cheap. Actually, I grabbed this like bef like when I was heading to the counter and stuff. I saw it and I was like, oh, there's one left. And it's like five sing dollars or less. And like, it's also a matte lip and color, my color pop lipsticks always dry out and they haven't arrived even though I ordered them so long ago and I really need instant gratification so I bought it right now. Yes, that was me. So, it comes in this like super cute packaging. It looks like, so like, I know, you know, you know this like kawaii lipstick kind of thing. Oh look, they even had this like, don't be shy, just say hi kind of thing, tagline and they had like different like characters for it. They had like day one, two, three, four until like nine if I'm not wrong. But, um, because I think I really like day 8 or 9 or so, but it was very similar to the other colour I bought. So, I realised I was picking a lot of the same colours, so I wanted to, like, you know, not buy all the same colours in my like, gloss or cream and all that. So, okay, I'll swatch this for you guys, and then I'll put it on my lip as well. 
Alright, it's a very moosey kind of color. I don't know if you can see. I'm not very good at these swatching things. But yes. Now, I'm gonna put it on my lips. Guys, look how pigmented that is. I literally just put it on my lower lip and then like, it just like glide on so smoothly. Look. Honestly, it doesn't really feel like those like liquid lipsticks like Colourpop and that. It feels more like a lip balm, if it makes sense. You know, you guys put those like lip balms and then like, it's kind of nice. And it has the most amazing smell. Oh my god, guys. It smells like peach. You know what's peach lip balm? No, not anything peach scented or peach flavored. Although it's not really like the real peach. It's like, it always, always gets me, you know. But like, I really like it. It doesn't feel too like... Okay, I mean it's a bit sticky. Like the lip balm kind of sticky. But nothing too much more. So, would definitely recommend. And it was like, what? So, it's so pigmented. And it's like under like icing. Honestly, I think it's worth it. So, the next thing I bought was this thing called Super Shades. It's from Deborah's video or so. So I was honestly looking for this everywhere because it wasn't like as like, I don't know, popular as like the blush that everyone was like gathering around and there were like so many salespeople and stuff. It was kind of like in its own corner, you know. But it's also kind of pricey for like, but I must say the packaging is quite nice. But also because when I went there, like all the samples were either like destroyed or like not there anymore or like they had like no more like liquid in it or whatever. So... And it wasn't, the salesperson kind of disappeared too. I don't know why all the salespeople are disappearing, but yeah. Anyway, so I thought I would try it out because that, um, oh my god, I said Debra just now, but Brenda's video. Um, she had this, she featured this or so, and she was talking about, she kept raving about how this like was a non sticky gloss and how like she hated lip glosses and like this was like the one lip gloss that had the gloss but also wasn't sticky and stuff. I was like, really man. And then she bought like so many, right? Like, and because, honestly, I hate lip glosses also. Like, I just don't like, you know, it's like so sticky on your lips. It's like shiny, shiny. And after you eat something, then it's gone already. You have to bring it around. Who's going to remember to bring it in your purse, right? And who's going to be so free? Go put it, go toilet all the time, put, put, put. That's why I always love, like, Colourpop lipsticks. Because, like, it just doesn't come off and I can just, like, eat and, like, I don't know. And you know me, I love to eat or, like, drink stuff. So, like, or, like it needs minimal touching up. Or, like, even when it comes off, it looks like an ombre look, so... Anyway, I decided to try this. So I got one only that like, oh, you know, even if it sucks, like, it's just one lah, right? <laughs> so it was a bit on the pricier side for the size. It's like a lot smaller, you see, than like, say, the Nikara one. Or like, it's like super small, but I really must say I really like the packaging. So I think they have a few ranges. They have the lip tint, blah, 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 as usual. So, but I decided to try the lip gloss. Let's watch it and see. So I got it in a more like nude colour. Because I thought a nude gloss would be kind of cool. Look at that guys. Can you see the shine already? Shit on my lips for you to see. Hi guys. This is also editing me. And I realised that I never actually showed you a clip of me swatching it on my lips. So this next clip is just me with that lip colour. Okay next from that 2 hour first day trip I made. I bought this thing. Basically I did some research before I went right. And then. I needed like a translucent powder. It's this thing called Shri Chan powder. Apparently it's like really good and stuff. But so the one I wanted to buy originally for some reason was three times the price of this one. And it was like super duper expensive. So like I mean they had a few samples that weren't destroyed. So I decided to try out the difference between like the real one that everyone was recommending on like blogs and stuff. And this one which is apparently a original powder mask. But honestly, I tried putting like some kind of makeup under it and then I like put the powder over it to see if it did the same thing. And honestly, it did the same thing for me with a sample and I'm not so rich. So I'm willing to spend one third of the price to try this. No one some more was like, like smaller. Like why would I pay three times the price for that? Whatever, if I'm putting a mask on my face, so be it. Oily skin and outdoor lifestyle. I don't have outdoor lifestyle, but Singapore, even standing there, is an outdoor lifestyle. Okay, ooh! So the packaging is kind of cute, it looks like that. I don't really know how I'm going to swatch this for you, so... I bought this! Everything I bought is probably under 10 sing because I'm stingy and I'm not going to spend so much money on it and I'd rather spend the money buying more clothes or like more $5 stuff. Moving on. Clean this 3-in-1 brow. Okay, can I buy it? I bought it at some like, you know, those small beauty stores, like kind of like beauty language in Singapore but like the Thai version. So I think I bought it in Terminal 21 if I'm not wrong. I think they don't carry this in Even Boy. The Even Boy one is only the pencil. So the 3 in 1 one, they only have it in um other outlets. Lah. So this is the 3D one. But I think uh, they have a lot of platinum mall, but like, I don't know. That place just smells shady to me about everything that might be fake. So I didn't want to take chances. Lah. But apparently it's cheaper there if y'all like, don't mind. Then okay, I'll go there and buy it. Uh. But 
I mean, I'd rather not lie, it's just a $1 more kind of thing to make sure it's real. I got it in the shade brown, number one. So basically what it is, is a 3-in-1. Wow, guys, what is a 3-in-1? Your eyebrows can have 3-in-1? It looks like this, so it's quite like a heavy, like, sturdy pencil thing. So first, you have your usual brow pencil, right? This cut kind of tip, okay. Normal brow pencil, right? Guys, brow mascara. Like, whoa. Like, luckily I watched Brenda's video to see this. If not, like, honestly, I wouldn't have, like, bought this. Like, and then they have brow shadow, guys. You know something you can blot? I thought this was quite interesting. I've never tried something like this before. I'll let you guys know. But, okay, I saw this other thing there, which was quite interesting. It's, like, a hair filler. So, you know, like, some people have bald spots. So, they put it to, like, it's, like, it's something like this, but a giant version to, like, put over that spot. So, I tried it, right? And, like, actually, it's kind of cool. It looks quite natural. So, like, I thought, like, wow, for my brows, it looks so cute. I think it's worth the buy. Plastic bag number two. So this one is the from Stomino 21. Actually, I didn't even buy that much more. I could have spent way less time there. Like the first trip I spent like 2 hours there. Surprise, surprise. Another lip product. So I was just walking right and I was like damn dizzy already. Cause like, I don't know, I just was shopping too much and I didn't need to. But yeah, so this thing right, looked like Colourpop lipsticks. And like, it said Colour U or something. What's it called? No, it's called Colour Up. And the font right? was exactly the same as the Colourpop font. So I was like, eh, they sell Colourpop here. So I was looking there, I realised it's called like Colour Up or whatever. So at first I was like, okay, I mean I bought all those other lip products from like the first Eve and Boy trip, then I don't need like more lip products. But then I decided my hands were itchy and I was gonna swatch it. Like, first of all, this packaging is like pretty legit. Honestly, it looks like a Tarte lipstick. If I just wrote Tarte at the bottom instead of Colour Up, you would believe me. Shade number two, Shy. Okay, okay, this one's like low-key like the Colourpop lipstick shade Bumble, but it's slightly more reddish or pinkish in real life, I would say. It's either the people also own Colourpop or they really, really tried to make a dupe of Colourpop because out of all the lip products, right, this one feels the most, like, smooth or, like, the thinnest. Does it make sense? Like, it feels, like, the most, like, weightless on your lips and it feels, it smells so much like the Colourpop liquid lipstick. I mean, I really like this colour. Quite pigmented so I like it and I I mean it doesn't make my lips itchy or it doesn't really feel like there's anything on my lips and Okay guys, real talk. This is the situation of me trying to like clean the colour up lipstick. I've been scrubbing my lips and it kinda hurts. So just take note, it's very durable. Also maybe because I'm not using like a proper lip remover, but yes. But okay, that's all the lip stuff I bought. So what did I buy? Was I gonna buy another eyeshadow palette when I have so many already and I always buy the same color? Yes. So uh, another thing in Brenda's video, she mentioned like this like opto like eyeshadow things. Like, she bought like five palettes and I was like, whoa. But then when I went there, there were like not that many palettes and a lot of them had like no more shades from their samples. So, um, and I didn't want to buy those like cartoon cartoon ones because honestly, they were quite expensive like the products compared to like some of the other products I bought, like the Nikara brand. Like, it was quite on the pricier side. So, the ones that are not so cartoon, which is like this one I bought. Honestly, like, I think this is nicer. So, was a lot cheaper. I think I bought this for about 10 sing or slightly more. And considering it has 18 shades, I think it's not bad. So, for this, they had three different designs. They had, as in, different, like, um, colour palette stuff. But I wanted something that was a bit more, like, pinkish and a bit brown. Or, like, you know, had more, like, mattes. Because I used more mattes as the one I got. I thought they had a nice range of pinks as well as like some browns. They also have a fair amount of like nudes. I mean like lighter colours which sometimes you know I overdo my eyeshadow and like I'm not that confident to do so much eyeshadow so I use this to like kind of like lighten whatever I'm doing or like you know. I thought I had like quite nice sparkles also and like nice browns that I could play around with as well. I'm gonna try the colour Cosmo. This one okay. It's one swatch. So I thought this was quite a good buy. Quite good pigments or so, not like some palettes I have like you can put a lot then you can see the color and sometimes I find the color pop one a bit too pigmented. I don't know. Sometimes like a sheer look, you know. But this is apparently a Korean brand, so Koreans like like sheer eyeshadow looks, so that's the thing. Before I forget, I also went to the Mistine counter and I bought a couple of things and I got a free gift. Honestly, I shouldn't have bought the eyeliner from there, but I just caved and like, it's probably like, you can get it way cheaper somewhere else. I bought it for like 199 baht, which is honestly not that worth it. You can honestly find it somewhere else. So, but I tried it, I quite liked it. Didn't really sponge for the whole day. If you zoom into my lookbook video, you can see it on my hands. But, 
Uh, yeah, I quite liked it. I just bought the maximum black eyeliner. They had three. One was super thin, one was super thick, and one this was the one in the middle. And this is the mascara. I thought about it for really long, and I didn't want to buy it because I had extensions and I had like my own mascara lah. But my mascara was drying off, and I kept hearing people talk about this mascara. But like, okay, the one they kept talking about was the one with lash fibers. But I don't know how lash fibers really work for you guys now if it even works. So I was trying to ask a lady to explain it to me. But the cotton thing just kept getting stuck in my eye, and then like, it wasn't lengthening anything for me, and like, I just didn't want cotton in my eyelashes. So this was the alternative. It's a supermodel eyelash um, mascara. A little bit on the pricier side, like I said, Mistine is a slightly more like branded Thai brand. Like it's like kind of everywhere, like billboards, everything like And so this one, the difference is instead of the lash fibers, they put a lower lash side, which I appreciate a lot. But sometimes you want to get those lower lashes, then it's like very hard for you to get with like your big mascara one would recommend this. Hi everyone, this is me editing the video and realizing that I never made an outro because my video was too long and like I had another section of it that's gonna be in part two so keep watching please like and subscribe